I do not own any of this art. Also, this contains spoilers for the movie. So, if you haven't watched the movie yet, then uh, don't watch this video. Unless you don't care about spoilers. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to another wishlist video. I did what I want for the third Sonic movie, and now I'm doing what I want for the second Mario movie. There will be timestamps in the description if you want to skip to a certain part of what I talk about. But yeah, let's get into this. So first of all, I want more Luigi. Now, Luigi was the one getting kidnapped instead of Peach. I know a lot of people were mad about that, but uh, they think like every female character has to be kidnapped. Even though Daisy is more of a tomboy, which we'll get to Daisy. And yeah, um, I think it was fine that Luigi was getting kidnapped because uh, Luigi has always been kind of scared, like a scared character, so this was fine to me, it's just kind of fit his character, uh, yeah. And maybe they can have Peach get kidnapped, or maybe not even have the plot have a focus on the kidnapping. So Luigi could play a bigger role and not get kidnapped this time, because if they did it twice, that would be kind of weird. Alright, next, for number two, what I want is Princess Daisy. Now, I heard someone say, and this is actually really true, that they made Peach similar to Daisy. Now, if you all know, Daisy is more of a tomboy character who never really gets kidnapped. But they kind of made Peach the tomboy character thing. The princess character who doesn't get kidnapped. And it kind of makes me wonder how they're going to deal with Daisy in a future movie because they made Peach like Daisy. So, how would they do Daisy? But, nonetheless, I'd still want to see Daisy in the movie. Who knows, maybe we can have Peach get kidnapped. So, the people who were mad about that can shut up. And also, so they can have Daisy kind of be like Peach, except with a different backstory. So maybe they can just have, for the second movie, Peach gets kidnapped instead of Luigi, and Daisy's kind of like Peach, except not with the same backstory. I think the backstory, from what I remember, was that Peach was from Earth, and then she got to the Mushroom Kingdom, and she grew up there, and then they eventually made her princess. I really do want to see Daisy, but since they made Peach more of Daisy's personality and more of Daisy's character. It kind of makes me confused on how they're gonna do Daisy in the movie. Anyways, moving on, I want a sort of like a Super Mario World movie because this movie will probably have Yoshi as a big plot point, even though we already saw Yoshi. In fact, we saw multiple Yoshis, even though it was in a short shot of the movie we still saw multiple yoshis there but i guess is this is just a main yoshi an important yoshi the green main yoshi that we all know and will probably play some important role in the movie considering they really weren't in the first movie but uh, yeah anyways moving on i want yoshi to kind of be like mario's pet i want them to have like a relationship to the point where Yoshi is like a pet to Mario, but again, still helps it out and like bows and stuff. That's all for this part. Moving on, this isn't something I really, really want, but there were a few people who complained about the pacing. Or they were just nitpicks, not really big complaints. But yeah, the movie is like an hour and a half long. I thought the runtime was pretty good for what they had. But considering it's a sequel, and they're probably gonna do more, obviously, then they probably need a longer runtime, maybe two hours, probably just like 30 minutes longer, so they can have slightly slower pacing and focus on more stuff. This also has something to do with the pacing, and this is a different part of the list, though. I want to see more of the world. This sort of has to do with the pacing thing, because... We saw, like, some of, like, the Mushroom Kingdom and the world of this movie and stuff, but we never got to 
like check it out a lot there was this map thing which we saw in the trailer which was like four parts of the world but hopefully we can explore more of it since mario and luigi are not from the mushroom kingdom and they're new to the mushroom kingdom especially luigi so hopefully we get to see more of this world and we get to spend more time with it bowser was turned tiny at the end of the movie which means Mario and Luigi probably get to chill. Unless they stay on Earth and they have to eventually go back to the Mushroom Kingdom. But yeah, hopefully we get to see more of this world in the movie. But moving on, I want to see Bowser Jr. or all of the Koopalinks. Not sure how they would do this, but hopefully we get to see them in some way. It would be pretty cool. Next, I want to see more of Pauline. I want Pauline to be a character since we never really saw her. She is on the poster, and I think she's in one of the shots of the movie. I don't know. I didn't really recognize her. She wasn't really a character. In fact, she was a background character. I want her to be an actual character, and after all, she is the mayor. So hopefully we get to actually see her. Even if it's just for one scene, I want her to be an actual character. And I also want... Wario and Waluigi. If Bowser doesn't return, then they could be the villains. Even if Bowser returns, I still want them to be villains. So moving on to some honorable mentions before we move on to the last thing I want. So, for the first honorable mention, less licensed music. I want some remixes of Mario songs, or just some original music, you know? but some music that sounds like it could be in Mario. I also would like multiple Yoshis, since there are multiple Yoshis. Yoshi isn't a specific character, unless you're talking about the main green Yoshi we all know. There, Yoshi is like a type of animal. So hopefully we see multiple Yoshis, maybe in like a final battle in the final act, and the Yoshis, there's gonna be like several Yoshis that team up and battle with Mario. Which kind of reminds me of Yoshi's Final Smash in Smash Ultimate, where there's like the hundreds of Yoshis and then they start running over whoever you're fighting. Maybe not hundreds of Yoshis, but like, I guess like 15 Yoshis? Or who knows, maybe just some, maybe like 8. But whatever. And for the last I'll uh, mention, 8 bit credits. The credits in the movie weren't 8 bit, they were just like some cool animations again this is just an all mention they don't have to do this but this is like an all mention that i maybe you like to see but the credits in the first movie looked cool so i wouldn't be that mad or whatever if they didn't do this i wouldn't really care the sonic movies credits were 16 bits right animated like graphics or whatever to obviously reference the classic games so maybe the movies could do this but yeah and now the last thing on this list for what i want for the super mario bros movie sequel is rosalina in the post credit scene some people were hoping for rosalina to be in like the post credit scene of the movie instead we got the yoshi egg some people were kind of mad about that because we already saw like millions of Yoshis. Probably not millions, but we already saw like a bunch of Yoshis in one shot. But I don't know if this was to get people hyped. It was just to let you know what the sequel could be about. Now, Rosalina could be things I want for the threequel, but this would be a post credit scene in the second movie, so yeah. Uh, we could get Rosalina, who knows? Some people think with all the Mario themed stuff they put in the movie, they can't do anything for a sequel. There's a bunch of stuff they can do for a sequel, you don't even know. Anyways, that will be it for today's video. I linked all the things in the description again. So, uh, yeah, you can go check out the artist. Because I obviously didn't make any of this art. Shout out to all the artists I linked in the description. I had to search for the source of the Princess Daisy fan art that I used because 
there were like several people reposting it and not crediting the artist. Someone credited the name of the artist on Reddit, but they never linked the actual source. So I had to find their, I found their DeviantArt, and then I found their Twitter, and yeah, there it was. So uh, yeah, um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.